fridge is getting full. Uh, what's it called? What's An hourglass. Thanks for uh, not minding my zigzag. <laughs> oh no, it's all good. <laughs> for a second I thought this was you going on the push corner. I was like, dang, Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Oh, shrimpy in the background. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, because these little brown spots look very organic. Ooh. Ooh. So Ooh. I don't know if you can see in the downward facing cam, but the little spheres that have all of the little points that we found on the first day, they're just rolling by like tumbleweeds. Wait, spheres with the little points. Oh, like the very you mean first like day the, the, the little radiolarian things? Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah, like well, four I don't of see them just any on our by. side. It's on the, uh, they're on, on the, the downward side? facing cam. Interesting. The seat, they're on like the floor. Yeah, there are just like tumbleweeds. Tumble oh, did you see oh. like right uh, What's this camera? Are Which they really small? I have no scales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. We got the push coral. This is a really interesting area. Spread Somehow. Okay, go back to the dive salvo. Go. Looks like we've moved a little bit. So it would be this one, wouldn't it? Yeah. You pan the get camera it. over, so we're moving a little, moving uh, around a little bit there. Yep. Uh, just give me two seconds. Maybe hit auto heading there, Sarah. Yep. Can you crank it back around? Move your heading back around. Maybe. There we go. Just don't want to move forward. Uh. Just out of frame. Turn, turn. But kind of visible. Yeah. Try and hold it. Keeps wanting to, yeah, pull. Yeah, I can't cord that that close. Uh, yeah, if we need to move to another one, Yeah, can that's you just pick, yep. just pick up and s try and scoop back a bit? Sure. Try and readjust a little, too. There you go. That would be great if you can get it down there. Let's see. So auto heading on, full vert down. Okay. And turn right there and move forward just a little. That's good there. It's good? Yeah, okay. oh. just fall down. All right, we're down. Okay. And we'll pan up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Ploof. It's like a puffball of organic material. Mm. I don't see anything as we pull that up. Yeah. There's like a little ball that kind of rolled off to the see left. See that? Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that? It reminds me of those tiny little creatures in a. Uh, what is it? Spirited away. Oh, Aww. the little yeah, yeah. The little fuzzballs. Forget what they're called. Come on. Uh, it's coming right, right out of there. Aww. Okay, Aww. that's fine. Um, uh. I don't know. Mm. We I don't can try it's for it. I don't think it's no. stuff. Okay. Uh. Yeah, yeah it's I don't no know problem. that it's even worth. Yep, it's not. It's, it's gonna well, come out. Not that I'm saying uh, with the laundry bag mm. because. Um. Sample. Sample salvo again. Yep. Because it's just going to be like a, a slurp dust it? fest. Right. Um. Would it get stuck? No. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aww.
that that's that. I mean, yeah, you can just put that away. <laughs> we didn't see anything, <laughs> but it's so hard to take. You know what I was thinking? Imagine with these push cores, we put like an aperture shutter on the bottom, so that way once we're done scooping it, we can just close the shutter and then it stays in. Well, the hope is that it, there's kind of like a vacuum in there and that it doesn't fall back out, but the sediment is just so fine. Yep. Huh. Like you can put these, for example, in a, and this is how they how test it before putting them on the vehicle, you can put these in a bucket of water, and when you lift it up, however deep in the water you've placed it, that much water stays inside of the tube, even after you take it out of the bucket. <clears throat> so, hmm. that principle should be working here too, but it's... Oh, just hard. With the there's something little floating, but I don't know if that's independent or that's not. That's a shrimp, I think. All right, well. Um, yeah, I don't know. All right. If we find another one, do you want to try and, I don't know what else we can do. I know. What about the fine mesh on the slurp? Do you think it will take it? Yeah, <coughs> yeah which ones do we have that in? Is that seven? And uh, straighten up your camera on the porch there, yep. Sarah, if you haven't. Yep, I did. I'll double check it, though. Would have been wild if a huge oh, yeah. worm came right, out. So just catch <laughs> yeah. up there and we can oh, Alaska and bull worm. Awesome. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to get to this wall on our watch. <laughs> yeah, we want to see it. it. Yeah. Let's see the stuff. Let's see the stuff. See if we can get the ramen, folks. <laughs> something to look at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. We're about 150 meters I'm from the stuff. I will forever Five be curious. Moves. Okay. Forever be curious about these things. But maybe someone knows. Maybe we'll get an answer. Just not tonight. Looks like more on Balula. Sit down a little bit. Just. So I have another question. Is this the wall you're trying to get to? Oh. I have another question about the uh, Raman spectrometer. So, at what concentrations do uh, elements need to be to be detected. Say, like, is there a certain like volume per mole of like a certain uh, element that needs to be present for the spectrometer to pick it up, or is it like you said, just about counting like protons and nuclei? Th that's a fantastic question, and it's one that puzzles everybody who's trying to do Raman spectroscopy. Uh, with our instrument. Um, uh, we think that we can see uh, mm -hmm. tens of parts per million, and uh, that means that for every one million uh, particles, uh, we can measure probably ten of those. So that's already pretty sensitive for for Raman. Uh, in the lab, uh, if you have a top of the line uh, bench top uh, Raman instrument, mm -hmm. you can push perhaps for one part per million for some molecules. Uh, some materials are more Raman uh, friendly than others, uh, if you want. Uh, so I think, yeah, in our case, uh, we're doing uh, yeah about tens of part per million, which translates to perhaps uh, one or two percent by mass uh, mm -hmm. of something. So uh, in our case, for example, here, if we're looking for organic pigment, say, for example, chlorophyll from a coral, uh, we can see something that would show up as a one or two percent of chlorophyll uh, by mass uh, in a in a coral. So, yep, very interesting. Then all these technologies are being developed to be extra sensitive, so that we can 
do better science, basically. It's so dark when I turn. Yeah. So, Leela, yeah? do you have any jokes for us? Oh. <laughs> I'm not a funny person. I'm going to go and I'm going to Google yeah. jokes, and I'll, I'll try and be creative about the genre. It's okay. We all have a funny bone in us. Oh, no. The humorous. Oh, no. no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was slid right in. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. <laughs> yeah, one day I realized where that came from. I'm like, oh, that's what I call it a funny bone. <laughs> yeah. I just got done taking anatomy for domestic animals and stuff. Um, and oh my gosh. <laughs> what you see is not really. One of our large shrimp. Oh, yeah. oh that's another cool. big shrimp again. Very cool. Another arthropod. Aristeid. Oh, hey, wow. Cool. So cool. Look at their little paddles. Oh, 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 oh this looks so nice and oh. white. Oh. oh, great. Oh. Its color is beautiful. So beautiful. Where'd you go? Down below. Oh, Come oh, on. No. Come on, Help still cam. Out. Okay, bye. Did you get a good picture? <laughs> Must be very curious. Bye bye, little fella. Okay. Like that was cool. Yep. Turn back around now. Oh, I got a joke for for the crowd here. Go for it. Why don't oysters share their pearls? Ooh. They're shellfish. They're yes. shellfish. Shellfish. They're shellfish. 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 Oh, good. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. I just found the same <laughs> joke. Like, uh -huh. the, Jay, right now I'm reading, why don't oysters <laughs> give to charity? Because they're shellfish. <laughs> I guess you could say the same thing it's about crabs, too. Um, uh, oh, no Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Are you looking up really far with the camera? Maybe. <laughs> Must Maybe. Be, yeah. I think so, yeah. There so you go. Too much. What did the Pacific Ocean Even. say to the Atlantic Ocean? Yeah, the that's Please a good question. To see you. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. Pleased to see you, huh? I like that. Nothing, it just waved. It's <laughs> 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 <That's> so great. <laughs> <laughs> but then they meet at the Panama Canal, and then they're like, hey, it's nice to see you. <coughs> Excuse me. That was a good one, it just waved. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, you missed uh, Leela's joke. Oh yeah, you missed my joke. Sorry. <laughs> Guess you'll never hear it. <laughs> a lot of mm -hmm. these are like not really SPL friendly, but they're funny. So wait, 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 I have another one. This is okay. very important. No, you got it. You got it. <laughs> um, did you hear about the red ship that collided with the blue ship? Oh I boy. did not. 
all the sailors were marooned. Oh! oh. <laughs> 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 All five sailors were marooned. They were marooned oh. five. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Daniel. Uh, one second. Uh, I'll <laughs> just say that the moon looks really pretty outside. Oh, where are That's we going see stars again? No stars. It's just like just cloudy, cloudy and like the moon, moon is kind of bright because it's becoming closer to a full moon. Mm -hmm. It's cute. <laughs> Yep, it's a waxing gibbous, I believe. So, what do you call a magic dog? Magic uh, dog. Super pooch. Um, <laughs> a magic dog, something with canine, or no? Wait, actually, can we look at that thing that yep. just passed? Yeah. Sorry. Let's sit down. I don't think it's a flatfish, but it kind of looks like one. I don't know, what do you call a magic dog? So the answer is a labracadabrador. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was from uh, one of our viewers from the Netherlands. Five. Oh, I don't like that. It took me a while to have to pronounce it too. <laughs> All these letters. Labradors are cute. But the best lap dogs, just way too much fur. Down. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on fur. Back off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. My little fur Actually, ball at home is so much off. fur. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing grooming myself, I'm like grooming on, on him. Like I, was, hey, what? I cut his hair. I yeah. practice yeah. grooming on oh, my it dog. Is just oh, it's right. It is so funny because it. It's bad. Oh, <laughs> it's like oh, bad yeah. dogs never look good right after their hair. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh. Actually, that's cool. <laughs> that is a cool picture. <laughs> I don't know what, what that is. That get, looks wormy. Can I zoom in? Yeah, uh, kind of a whole bunch of waste. Oh, what it is. look at it. What do we do? Land on top of it? No. Honestly, I think we're good. Okay. I a feel like that's got to be a worm in there, but um, yeah. and we just blew all its poo. Ex ex yeah, it's poop away. Mm -hmm. We blew the, the poo. Of poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pick up after our dogs. Yeah, we got a good still cam picture of um, the hole, so. Uh, right. Yeah, I think we're good to keep going. But further. We're about so 30 weird. to 50 meters from the hill. Woo! Yeah! So close. Oh yeah, we can do that too. I wonder if I have if a picture want, when I groom my dog myself. Huh? It's Someone busy? Yes. Thank you. That's a whole lot of worm poop. My gosh. Yeah, I was a bit confused about like this. How big is this worm? I don't know. <laughs> like, Some of them can get it's really like, big. Yeah. It's just some, something from Tremors or something. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Oh my god, I love that movie. movie. Love that yeah. movie. The preppers in that movie. I was like, is it a worm? <laughs> what? Man. I was like jumping on furniture no. for weeks after this that movie. This is what I do too. Oh, that that oh. was so good, actually. I need to watch it's that. So good. I watched it recently, actually. Did you? Oh, good, oh we're coming up to it. some rocks. Yeah. Ooh, All right. Ooh, look at that. Finally, some hard fish, stuff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these are big boulders, too. This isn't boring rock. This yep. is like big yep. rock. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Woohoo! Good job, yes, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> You're going right, to be a real let's engineer. Note that we are at the rock line. Or a real pilot, my bad. We got Han Solo and Chewbacca up there. Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> it's Star Wars. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel, Sarah? <laughs> it feels bad. It feels like not oh, watching SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 
These are some you can big see boulders. These layers. So these have crashed down, but they were once deposited horizontally somehow. They made their way down here. Mm -hmm. So uh, why did the rock shower every day? Oh, no. Um, um, it was too crusty? Uh, uh, what was the uh, question? Why? Uh, I should specify. Why did the rock shower every morning? So every oh, morning. Every morning. Yeah. Um, Don't know. Why? I wanted to start with a clean slate. <laughs> Start a clean with a clean slate. slate. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Harsh. No, no, I mean, the, no. A lot, the the good ones are kind of dumb. <laughs> I meant it in a good way. Of course. Oh, can we? If oh, we're able. Oh yeah. Oh, what I'll share with you. <laughs> What's that white thing? <laughs> oh, another shark in the back. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a or different something shark. Else. Different. Ooh. It's got long, it's got uh, wider long fins. fins. Huge fins. I say zoom. Oh in my gosh. That. Yeah, we should zoom on it all. Huge uh, down fins. a couple of meters. I don't think there's okay. anything on the wrong. Go ahead and zoom. It's a big boy. No, it looks like a, there's not much. It just nah. a, it just oh, goes, oh, that's a nothing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, it's oh, a it's gonad. Okay. Crab. Or a crab. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Maybe let's look at the. Yes, oh, is it eating? Oh, cool. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Predation Dead moment. Oh, fish carcass. Oh, that is a mean looking crab. Okay. <laughs> that thing looks like it came out of Earth's crust. Wow, ready it's to so decimate. Cool. Living on Earth's oh, crust. I used to know off the top of my head the name for this one. Wow, Lith that is creepy. Oh, I want to see if you see his little It's a lithoid, yeah. Eating so a fish. Is this, this is a true crab. Oh, look at the yeah? little fishies. Um, uh, no, or it's a lithodid. Okay. King crab. King crab. Yeah. Mm. That is awesome. How big is it, do you think? Um, well, it looks to be on. about 15 centimeter carapace or something. Yeah. Or 10 centimeter carapace. That's a good meal. Yeah. There's some shrimp there, too. Yeah. Getting in on the action. Yep, decomposers. Oh my gosh, and there's a big Eritogorgia, too. Hey, hey Mike, uh, yeah. our pilot. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You know, we wonder if uh, we Ooh. could shoot at the fish, dead fish, of course, with a laser. Mm -hmm. um, if yeah. you feel like, Ooh, you feel like, uh, let's try could it. Could we maybe see Should we if that one other second, fish is there? Could we put? Um, is there a way to put the? What is it on PC three? Uh, I can put it on up here. for Mike to see. Uh, the, are you trying to get a DSC in there? No, uh, the oh the laser, laser camera. Yeah, I need that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's been put up here before. I get that uh, up there. Where, what box would you like it in? You can put it over the pilot cam. Okay. Was that camera ever rotated 180? Yes, I rotated it for oh, you. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's a great view. view. For our viewers, that's in yeah. my, my 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 hypothesis is that if we if we can get some of the fish bone, uh, we can see some of the calcium there, uh, and we can assess whether the fish was healthy or not. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, or it's just a curiosity. Say. Sure, uh, try it. Woohoo! It's worth it. Since we're here. Wow, that's an awesome view. That is cool. Ooh. All right. I wonder what type of fish that was. Mm-hmm. Looked like it was, um, maybe one of those eels has been going by. Maybe a shark. Who knows? Doesn't look sharky. Yeah. Great, great aim, Mike. Wow. Hold on. 
Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. No, you're doing Hold great. Hold on. Would anything happen if you were to like, accidentally shoot the crab with the laser? Yep. I did. I did. Or we did, did, I think. It's all good. <laughs> Yep, Mike, uh, do, do you hit bullseye there, uh, my friend? Uh, yeah, we we got uh, a very, I guess, unique signature Ooh. of the spectra coming from that, both the crab and the <laughs> and the fish. So cool. awesome, it's cool. very, very good. Great, it worked. Yeah, cool. So we we're, we're both. Mike is improving his aim, and we're improving our <laughs> skills at looking at things. So what a great exercise. Um, could we see if that uh, fish is still? I think it's gone. Um, yeah, mm. probably. Let's see if it still exists. Did you want to keep taking readings, or did you just want the one? What? Uh, l l let's finish this one. Okay, uh, when yeah. the laser is off, you're free to uh, to explore something else. Thank you for totally the detour. Mm -hmm. And I can confirm that the fish is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. It was Schrodinger's okay. fish, and now we know it's dead. Hmm. At least we're not distracting the crab from its meal. Mm. This would be it. Do you want to try another one, or will we go? W w w we're good to go, Mike. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> this area can be good. Can I get the pilot camera back up there? Nice. Thank you. Maybe do a. Uh, ooh. These are really interesting sand terraces. Fun. Yep, terraces. I was going to say, this looks like a, a good area, too, for uh, taking a rock sample, given how it doesn't look like there's much of the uh, ferromanganese crusts on them and how recently fractured they look as well. I don't know that we could break any of this off, but... If uh, we do find any pieces yeah. small enough. I, uh, I wonder if a lot of what's up here be kind of carbonate, carbonate mm -hmm. That's what some of those down there look like, uh, carbonate rocks. Yep. So we're on the slope right now, so yeah, it looks like it cool. might be a sandy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can collect, how about one of, are these little rocks? I can't I tell. Are those big rocks? Biggish. Also, like Loopy, I forgot to put the name in the of that middle, crab. Maybe? The cantaloupe one in the middle. Oh, yeah. I yeah. saw it. Are you going to go for that okay. one? Leave this computer. You want it? Okay, good. Yeah. So, yeah. That crab is so cool. There the was a. The are cool in that Atlantic camp. There was also a big Aritagorgia there, too. Yeah, there that was. That I got in the still cam. Man. Aritagorgia Bella. What are we going for right here? Oh, nice. That one looks. Go back to that one. Or mm, that one Magnus might Spiralis. actually just be Magnus Spiralis. Yeah. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe we caught that crab. That's I know. awesome. Cool shot there too. Yeah. This is, is in a rock sample. Yeah. It's still. Yes. It's gonna be uh, 104. 104. Awesome. Thank you. Ooh, and there's a little okay. tunicit. Oh, just oh. all carbonate. Just kidding. Oh. We're not collecting it. <laughs> but now we know. <laughs> little, it, 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 Lila? Yeah? Can you, can you, you wanna go over explain it? And, uh, about the carbonate? I would like to look at that carbonate if, uh, if you confirm that that's indeed what it looks like. Yeah. <coughs> Let Daniel do the carbonate <laughs> explaining. Our yeah. resident Our geologist. Our in-house geologist, yeah. So it looks... Uh, pretty chalky actually uh, so given how white it is it's probably a uh, more pure form of a carbonate and usually carbonates come in uh, form of like limestone say like yeah so uh, so I, uh, I would like to to point at that as well if, if that's okay yeah. with uh, everybody yeah absolutely and, and then and then collect the rock uh, as well yeah uh, please yeah given how like uh, how it breaks yeah, off, we'll how carbonate. brittle it was. Um, yeah, many pure, or close to being pure, carbonate rocks uh, 
can do that because it's so chalky. Um, the national park I worked at, uh, Bryce Canyon, had a lot of the soft limestone carbonate rocks there. And a lot of the pure limestone was white, but also extremely brittle. It's a big reason why they don't allow climbing there, even though it looks like a climber's paradise. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my god, did we get that man? Hercules, too. Yeah, so this and this carbonate up top here might be from um, from earlier when when this was much closer to the surface ocean and there were shallow reefs uh, on the ski out. Shrimpy. Oh, another one of those. A stare shrimp. Now the question is, would you eat that with its head on? No. Nope. <laughs> I don't think I would eat anything with its head on, honestly. Yeah. Would Daryl, though? <laughs> nah. Does anybody have their uh, cord leaning against some electronics? Mm. Electronics? Yeah, I just kind of give up. Is that better at all? No, I still have it. Ooh, this reading is close. Mark's doing like a corkscrew around the <laughs> Oh, and you can see the laser in Atalanta, Cam. Oh, yeah. It also doesn't nice. have to be these little chunks, right? I mean, it would be fine, uh, Pablo, if we went for one of the bigger rocks. Up. With the laser? Bigger the better, but uh, yep. Doesn't have to be a You want to try the one above it? Yeah. Yeah. You may not. Okay, Mike, uh, we, got, we have enough data here, uh, and now we would like to get that rock uh, after we finish this this laser shot here. Uh. Yeah, we could uh, we could laundry basket scoop it if you think that it's too delicate for the uh, manib. Uh, yeah, I'll have a go at it. I might. Maybe we yeah, can try and pick it up with still. a... I don't know, the other one crumbles like very, very easily. Yeah. Worth a try. All right, I'll move down to it. This, um...
Is this still sounding like that? So this loopy, if we collect it, oh. if we collect it, we'll note that it's a, one of the ground truthing samples for uh, for the dive pot. And can I have the pilot camera again there? Thank you. <laughs> Oh, cool. Nice. I would hit autofocus and really take it right after, yeah. And it's okay if you hit the shutter button before the autofocus seems done. It should finish it before. Sh Oops. Should finish it, I think, before taking the picture. Well, I don't. I don't know, Lila. What do you want to do? Do you want to yeah. try and pick it up? I, hmm. I mean, uh, hmm. I feel like it's just gonna break again if we pick it up the same way as before. No. What about your scoop? Yeah, that's what little, I was. Well, we can scoop it after it breaks too, right? Yeah, I th I say let's just try and scoop it right off the bat. Just get the rest of that bit in. Okay, and it, the whole rock, right? The one yeah. to the left. Oh, uh, I, it doesn't matter. We can do the broken one too. Mm -hmm. Right, dive bot team. Does it uh, we we need uh, little chunks of of that. So yeah, so the it, it smaller one's fine too. Yeah, do us do us best you can. Looks like it'll go pretty well. It's in the bag. Mm, yeah, well, did it all become dust? Like it'd be great for rock climbing. 
<laughs> Make good chalk dust for your hands. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't even need to bring your own chalk dust. No, and how cool would it be to show up to the climbing gym and be like, oh, this, and I collected it from the bottom of the sea floor. <laughs> 15,000, 1,500 <laughs> meters. Personally, I prefer 1,200 meter chalk, but you know, I said, what the heck, this will do. <laughs> So it's quite hard under than how yeah. like it's really yeah. cemented. Really the nerd in me is like tingling. And I hope you guys also enjoyed that as much as we did. Good morning, everyone. We're just doing a little watch change as the 48 comes on, and uh, we'll be back to exploration here in just a second. That's fine. It's all good. Okay, good night everyone.
copy that. Hello? You guys hear me back there at the table? Yes, sir. Who's on comms back there? Kevin? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yep. Okay. Are we uh, we're still doing uh, laser spectrometry stuff, or are we doing science-y stuff? Or both? <laughs> We're doing both, <laughs> but we're good to go, so you can go explore and we'll do opportunities as they come arise. Right. Up. Uh, MB1. Eight. I think it's an eight. DSC is fine. It should be on one of the PCs. We're kind of waiting for the boat to get under control here. There was a squall coming through. That's the one. But um, that's um, one, two, three, four. Six. Sorry, nine. Yeah. Um, correct. Think she's under control in it, or is she? How's she doing up there? Cool. headed to the west yeah let's do one more step west and then scissor back so there's um, there's this kind of wall feature running um, to the northeast and we were hoping to just kind of zi zip zigzag back <coughs> across it um, as we move generally Correct. up okay. the very gentle slope of the top of the feature okay <coughs> Now you guys can put your head in your computer. Can't make everybody. Got all the cats going in the same direction. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Herding cats first thing in the morning. So I'm going west, right? Two nine zero, Roger. All right. So, good morning, everybody. We just had I'm a good, shift Darryl. change. Thanks. Thanks. We are the 4 to 8 shift, the one that always sees the amazing stuff, minus this really cool jellyfish. So, if y'all are watching at home, uh, wind back about 15 minutes, and you are going to see this beautiful jellyfish. We are diving on unnamed guillot number 7, and we are collecting both samples, scientific samples, and we are also diving using the new Raman spectrometer. Uh, and we're using this to hopefully 
measure some manganese and uh, ferromanganese crusts and also to measure the pigmented corals. So brand new opportunity. We haven't dove with the Rahman where we've been using it on corals yet. So exciting new dive. We just have to find some corals. Yeah, yeah. So is this all We're sand gonna, right uh, here? Come up a bit for you guys. Sandy uh, fields. Four yep. meters is optimum now. Three. Three or four. <laughs> four. Uh, I thought three was too low before. Uh, we've did some experimenting and found out that the uh, the three was good and we can actually focus at it. Roger. Gives us a little less attenuation of the signal. I mean, you got my graphical user interface in front of you, so if you see me too low, let me know. 2.9, I'm off by. <coughs> okay, Lynette, I can kick her into gear. So Corley, I'm looking at this interesting geology from a few minutes ago. Uh, and sorry, I know it's a few minutes ago, but was it all sand fields or it looked like it had a slope? I, so I we didn't had a question online if it was like a, a paleo shoreline. I didn't see anything, so I'm not gonna. So nothing of interest, yeah, I, okay. I mean, I don't know what it was or any, anything. This just all looks like sediment to me. <laughs> right now, yeah. We're going to get back to that feature is the, the plan is we're going to basically zigzag back across that um, that feature over the course of the dive. So we will see uh, see it again or at least see a different section of it. Oh, good, because we definitely have a couple of questions of whether or not it's a paleo shoreline or if it's some kind of unique geological formation. And I am definitely not able to comment on any of those. <laughs> So Lynette, the other day you said you your expectations for the dive were to see tons and tons of flat shoreline, flat sandy shore. Mud. I think you got it. Mud, yeah. I'm your wish came it. true. Love it. <laughs> the best way to wake up on a Wednesday morning. Oh my gosh, is it Wednesday? Yes, yes. Isn't so that crazy? The cool thing about this, though, is well. I am skeptical we're going to see a lot of corals. A lot of times, actually, the fish and some of the other, um, we'll see a different community. It may be a sparser, but, but we'll see organisms that live in the sand more, and a lot of times that includes more fish. Um, so we will uh, hopefully have a little bit fishier dive. Can we zoom C-Pen, please? Need my circle's back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not going to see a lot from three meters. We don't have to stay at three meters. We're, we can bounce up and down is my understanding. Correct, Kevin? Y yes, that's correct. Yeah. Oh, all right. Mike's got that enough. Or you want me to come down? Uh, yeah, come down if you don't mind. Okay, it can go wide. Um. Zoom in there. Watch for my new holster. So this is a knocked over sea pen that has been uprooted and fallen on the uh, sediment.
probably Baltic now. Did you say probably? I don't get it. Have faith. Nice. Want to try for more? Yeah, if you think the big chunk will fit. I don't know. I, did, I, wanted, I didn't want to try it until I got the other ones, but yeah. Or a piece of it, I don't know. Maybe smoosh it against the other one. Yeah. <coughs> oh, now it wants to stay together? <laughs> Will it fit? I don't think so, but yeah. I think if what I could if like jam it up against the porch or something. What if you get like the uh, arm to break it up into a smaller chunk and then scoop it? Yeah, we can do that. I wonder if I can just get it in here and just lay it in the... Yeah. Just carry it in the box with it, you know? Yeah. Scoop. Nice balance. Wow. Can it go in one of the front boxes? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Absolute cool skill. Box out, please. Oh, this thing again. God's sake. <laughs> oh. Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nobody misses you. <laughs> You're awful. Go away. <laughs> it's trying its best. Given its circumstances, <laughs> can put the whole the whole kitten caboodle in there. Did you say kitten caboodle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard that in such a long time. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh my god, it is annoying. S slam dunk. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Larger than I thought because it takes up a lot of that box. Um, yeah, we keep yep, Adam's gonna love that. We could keep the scoop on. Can we still keep it on the porch? Uh, not really. It's kind of one scoop and done. It doesn't have a. I mean, e even with the stuff in it on the porch, or how? I don't know how it was. Oh, it was secured with the zip ties, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. If you want, I could put it in on the other side, and then you know they can they might be able to fish it out of there. Uh, out of starboard, you're saying? On the lambda side, without beating up this other rock sample, right? Yeah, I mean, do you think they'd both fit in there? I feel like they won't. It's fairly large now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if I if I put this in here, it's going to beat up that big piece, probably, right? Probably, but that's also okay if it gets a little beat up. Belong. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Beautiful. All right. Close that up. Forget about it. Right. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> there, uh -oh. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Well, oh, it's oh. way. Keep going. Keep going. See what happens. All right. Stop there. No. Let me come back Good out. enough. No, no. Okay. Ooh, there's a jelly in the still cam, I think. I can't tell, though. I think it's a sediment speck. Yeah, it is. Wow, look at that. Now that is what you call HD. Shot. Nice. It'd be much easier to put this on the other side. I feel like they're going to be 
mad at me if I take up the whole porch. Whole, uh, whole two bucks. We could put it on the side too, like a small rock could go on top with it, if we put it somewhere in starboard. Trying to get this going here. Don't wanna. Oh. Yeah, if this is too hard, Mike, we can just throw it on the side on the starboard. Yeah. Okay, close that box up. I'm kind of excited to look at that sample. Yeah, that's a cool yeah. one. I want to feel how soft it is. Hey Amber, can we see them putting the scoop in the other box? Oh, you mean on the, it's already in there? Oh yeah. Did that go in uh, in E? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so exactly, you can just mark the same sample in two spots. Well, thank you. Yeah, that'd be it's an interesting. Yeah, it'll be fun. Peace. Fun to, to, to look at. Okay. Uh, Amber, can you rejiggy those or uh, Sarah? Oh, so fast, Sarah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> where's the holes <laughs> gone now? There we go. Oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see if we can look at it from the bubble cans. Oh, it's just down there. Okay, she's just alongside there.
Just noticed the new face on the back deck. I think that's my favorite <laughs> one. I like I the like tongue. Yeah, that the was cute. The yeah. This one's my favorite though, for sure. It's so cute. The, um, I see the ground fault is back on the ramen, I presume, the ramen instrument. You guys want to power cycle it for a bit, or? Uh, I think we're kind of in an interesting area, so we'd like to leave it on for just a little longer. That's okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, look around on this little, with this wee slope, a little. You know, it felt like it took so long to get here, and and all the distance. It just looked so far, and now we're here, and. And this seems so short. Boom. Yeah. But we can uh, move along this feature a little bit. We don't have to go. Hey, Amber. Can I get the gauges? All the way to 8.2. Corner. Thank you. Although, let's continue up it first. Mm -hmm. Oh, very sedimenty. What's mm -hmm. the sand? Could be a lot of that uh, carbonate you're roading off. Thank you. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, is that a fish? Black thing in the corner? Oh, it's the left. Yeah. <coughs> I am uh -huh. curious why you don't find much of the ferromanganese crust here, but I have a hypothesis that has to do with the softness of the rock and how... Uh, sea cucumber, maybe? Yeah, how renewed the surface you. is. Sea oh, pen. Oh, that's a, um, Penachula? Mm. No, it's a no I, found, I found the ID for that one a bit ago. Too skinny. Oh, I think a sea pig just went by. Oh, there it is. Oh, saw it. Looks like there's a All tiny right. anemone on there, but it could be yeah, wrong. Yeah, a little fly trap. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, I think we're good. Thank you. Okay, full wide. Let me get the ID on yeah. that. So we right now are like right in the middle of the top of a guillot kind of. This is a feature on the top of a guillot, a little uh, canyon-y depression. And I think that's why we're seeing so much carbonate. And we have always, up until now, been a little bit further down on the flanks. Mm. Or maybe not necessarily deeper, but uh, a different portion of the seamount, not the center. Yeah. Are we at the top of this little bit here? We are not. We still have about 10, 20 meters. Okay. So, let me, let me give you exact. Ooh. Oh, 25 meters from the top. This looks like more of that broken off mm -hmm. rocks. You want to try a rock from there? No, I think this is all the same carbonate stuff. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But yeah, the kinds of rocks we're finding here are look to be sedimentary, meaning that it's an accumulation of sediment over time. Also, what we found on previous dives on other geodes were mostly uh, igneous rocks you know, with the basalt. And that basalt was a much tougher rock, which meant that its surface took a lot longer to um, weather away. Weather away, excuse me. And so, my hypothesis is that 
because it's a much harder substra substrate that it allowed for the ferro ferromanganese crust to form oh, wow. and accumulate versus a much softer rock like we can see these carbonates are uh, constantly being broken off as we can see and that means that could mean Ooh, it's that so flat right there. there's not enough time for that crust to form onto the surface of the rock so, so while well, we might not see much of that around here Loopy, I just put that coral in the chat. The family, at least. Those are such cool oh. terraces. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that is. It's like all these terraces going up here. Yeah. And for those of you at home, terrace basically means uh, stair steps. So where you see like a shelf and then another shelf up going up, that's a terrace. Um, I did see a question about the still cam. Honestly, mm -hmm. for most of the shots, it's not very fun to look at. Um, but we do upload pictures, I believe, the cool stuff in the gallery. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we put uh, our photos online on our expedition. You can find our NA 149 for the Kingman Reef and Palmyra Atolls. We'll be posting them throughout the expedition, but we'll have a big file of them coming once we're finished. So just uh, stay tuned and looking around for that once we get back to shore. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at those layers. Steep. Nothing around. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know that we're going to, because of, yeah, the, the, the oh, maybe? crumbliness of this. I don't know that we're going to find anything. Do we think that's a rock? Mm. Something on there. You can oh. look at yeah. it. Look at what it is. I don't think it's a rock. Did we notice how we left that zip tie earlier? Go ahead and zoom. What about the zip tie? It was attached to the uh, laundry bag scoop. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, it attaches it to the uh, porch. Oh, uh, that's a black coral. That's pretty cool. See that's a black coral growing on that. Very cool. Wow. Um. Yep. Just try and get what it is very fast. We're good on those ends, I think. All right, full wide. Yeah, thank you. Mike, you can turn us off for a bit. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. I mean, it looks shape-wise the most like star, star oh, pathies, yeah. but star I don't know. Star pathies, yep. Off now. I don't know that it was so like, oh, Steve said that. Steve said it. Okay, thanks, Steve. So there's a pretty steep cliff right here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so uniform. Like so uniformly straight. Hmm. Let me see if there's anything in a dive plan about that. Good morning, Amber. Um, yeah, they've been looking very sedimentary. We just picked up some carbonate rock. Yeah. Ooh, we have a, another um, Aridogorgia, um, Magna Spiralis. Want to zoom? No. Uh, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm surprised to see stuff growing on this. Yeah, or this is real cool. Wow. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Look at how much work it had to do to cement itself there. I know. Yeah. Like, please don't break away. <laughs> All right, we're good. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, Nautilus had previously visited this seamount last year during NA 137. So this area may look familiar to uh, some of us. Wow, the that is incredible. Look at Atalanta Cam at all the layers on this sheer steep wall. Yeah. 
Really, really cool. Oh my gosh. I wonder what, what type of current causes these like divots. So it's less a current and oh, more just like an er star of erosion. Star I think. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, var variable strength in the different layers, erosional rates. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, like all these, like it looks really parallel because of how um, the sediment falls out the water column. It shows that there's not that much turbidity when that happens. Low Reynolds number, so. Uh, you get a lot of this uniform um, layers right here. Yeah. Oh, a fish. Um. Oh my gosh! Wow. This is so so steep. Literally like a ninety degree. Yeah. It's crazy how uh, the angles are so how it's so perpendicular to the yeah. The terrace. I mean. Mm -hmm. And even that one um, edge of yeah, it, it was, was like a just 90 degree angle. cut. Wow. Can you see? Oh. Is there a sponge growing right there? Or is that just a yeah. weird patch? I can't tell. Um. It almost looks like it has a little stock. Yeah. I think it's something. I think it's something. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we're losing it. <laughs> so, would be nothing um, new. Um, well, there's a halosaur. And I there that's halosaur, simply sediment. I think that <laughs> that's just a weird cut in the rock. <laughs> Looks a lot a, like a stock. Looks a lot like a mushroom. It's kind of doing a Mona Lisa, like looking around at us. Oh, look at these, like, what these formations. Oh, yeah. Halosaur. Hey. I mean, I think, yeah, this is all old reef. Mm. Oh, look how straight down it is in the pilot camera. Oh, wow. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's wow. such a cool picture. Wish we could take that. It looks like a cake. Hmm. And in Atlanta, too, now. You can mm -hmm. see that angle again. Put that in uh, sat feed three, if anybody wants to see. Thank you. Wow, that is steep. Yeah, so maybe we can do this last move in that direction, or we can check out what's on top of this, mm -hmm. and then it might be fun to just go along the top of that wall for a little bit if we feel like we reach sort of the edge of this. Um. Yeah, the, um, the sonar is saying this is the edge. Is However, the here? sonar also didn't predict that like super steep wall, so. Yeah, I just mean like the end of this terracing, you know, not that it's necessarily so steep, but if we reach the end of what I think there's a little thing there. Yeah. Man. I think it's something. <laughs> <laughs> please, please be something. Please let it not just be 3.30 in the morning. Oh or, boy, or three, a bunch yeah. of little poop nuggets that are going to blow away. <laughs> 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 oh, <I heard> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, official scientific term right there. Oh yeah, those were <laughs> so cool. That looks like an umbalula, maybe. Oh, yep, that is. Yep. Zoom in. Yeah, a little zoom. <laughs> yeah, it is an umbulula. So it's like, well, this is soft enough that umbulula is okay growing here. Mm-hmm. Shrimp. Interesting. Yeah, I guess there's yeah. like a, a wee bit of sediment right in there. <laughs> That's Just good. Enough. Thank you.
It's like those flowers that grow in the cracks in the sidewalk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. I like that. Oh, those are cool still cam shots. Yeah. From down not, there. Yeah. Not the best, but uh, better than before. Mm -hmm. Wormy thing there. I still want to know what those poop piles were. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh. Somebody didn't clean up. Oh, after is themselves. there something off to the right? Did you see something Maybe in Atlanta? Something. Uh, I was oh, upset no, I didn't quite mind. see. Maybe, though. It's okay. We're all allowed to be delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for something, anything. Whalebone. Give us a whalebone. <laughs> I feel like it'd be covered completely. The whalebone? Yeah. Uh, I, I think stuff. all this is quite old. Mm. Um relative That's to actually, what a whale bone might be. Yeah. I keep forgetting that this is like completely uncharted territory. <laughs> um, Which is the cool part. Yeah, a lot of stuff in the water column too, which must just be carbonate being kicked up. Did we take a just a zoom on like these uh, uh, textured surfaces quick? Sure, yeah. So do you want to keep going like towards the top of this ledge? Or do we want to go back uh, to the yeah, wall? Yeah, we can go oh, yeah. up a little bit more. Great. I'm curious what the texture of this is, like how hard that is. Yeah, there's like a little, that's interesting, like biofilm mm. on it all. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Um. That's something not even I can explain. Can we poke it with explain. the manip and see like how hard this is? <laughs> Looks like dead leaves in autumn. Almost. Looks like pond scum. Hmm. I'm so glad poking stuff is still science. Okay, so it's that same chalky Ooh, stuff. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so it's not very yeah. thick at all. You can see yep. when the arrow yeah. lifted, right? Crumbly. We could draw like Nautilus was here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will find it. Oh mm -hmm. no, this gives me the... Um, I already did draw it. That's the symbol, I guess. <laughs> yeah. The front porch and the two the front of the ski. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Aww. There you go. Nautilus was here. <laughs> yeah. This makes me think about, um, like, footprints that are on the moon. Like, the people that went there just walking around, but... There's just there for the rest of time, and it's like, hey, we were here, and we made our mark. For science, of course. Um. Hmm. Maybe go a wee bit further and then we could circle, circle back down, maybe back, or go along this a, a bit, along the wall a bit, a little lower. Right, so up here it gets sandy with those urchins again. Woohoo! 
Probably similar to what we saw down there. Yeah. Deep, deep purple. Oh, yeah. No poop piles yet. No, or are those all poop piles? Like, what is, you see in the ripples? I, yeah, I do. Oh, wait, is that one to the left, I think? We don't need to zoom in on it, but like, I'm but so in, curious in, what that is. Can we look in are. the ripples? What? It might just be the rock, actually. I think it's just thin sediment on that same oh, rock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and zoom. I bet you're right. Looks similar, but. Mm. Yeah. No, the other ones were more pellet shaped. These are more pebbly. I think this is the rock, and there's just <laughs> yeah. a little sediment yeah. on top oh. of it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so you. intrigued. <laughs> I'm just surprised at how geologically different this area is compared to the other seamounts we were at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. again, I think it's just the position of where we are on the seamount. We're smack dab in the middle, kind of. Yep. All right, so... So I think uh, maybe let's back down to the... W or, or turn around and go back towards the wall mm -hmm. and move along that a little bit uh, northeast. Roger. Sounds good. This looks like it'll turn into sort of what we were seeing below. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this looked like in the backscatter. Have you... Oh, dive bot team's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still here. I'm, I'm in the studio. Uh, Oh, oh, okay. Getting oh. the, getting the full panoramic oh. view oh, wow. of all I was going to ask view. Pablo, have you been, have, is the laser, or is it off right now? Yeah, yeah, we're, okay. we're off uh, to to minimize the ground fault issue. Right, um, right. But uh, so we, uh, we were taking data up until five minutes ago. Okay, so you mm -hmm. took measurements on this too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so we have, yeah, we have a good, uh, it's, it's hard to, yeah. on the fly, uh, Commit to interpret some of the data, <laughs> right? Uh, but I think we're we're seeing uh, perhaps uh, you know I, I I may argue that this is more uh, uh, talk uh, like kaolinite or, or some kind of uh, oh, material like that as opposed to carbonate. Oh, it's like a talc mm -hmm. Yeah, like a talc. Okay. Yeah, but that's why you know we'll confirm that as soon as we get the yeah. sample back here. Do you uh, need a, a more dedicated? Oh, I mean, now that we're I over a sort of a. Sea cucumber flat surface where we could go at a specific three meter height altitude. I mean, would you want a dedicated little reading or? Uh, no, no, not particularly. Yeah, we, we already have one of those okay. from the Sorry, other end. Uh, so you guys do your thing and as soon as, uh, you know, we want to wait a little bit longer uh, before we turn on again. And, okay. uh, and then yeah, we'll turn on and, and, and join the party. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, none of those patches around here that we're seeing, at least. And once you write that comment, Lupi, I think now would be a good time to sort of, as we're nearing the end of our watch, summarize what we've seen so far, that we were over the sandy sediment, what we saw there, and then the wall and this bit on top. So pretty. Yeah, I'm curious yeah. what those little jelly-like floaty things are that keep coming by. Can't quite see them well enough to get an ID because they're so small and so quick.
those things. Hmm. Oh, there's a jellyfish right above in the st oh. still cam. Oh, highlight. <gasps> what is Ooh. that? Wow. Beautiful. Look at this. Can I do a little um, zoom zoom on that? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, Look at sorry. that symmetry. Yeah, go ahead and do like a partial zoom. What is that? Can we turn the lasers off? I don't wow. I've never seen what? anything like that. And it has it's that like jet propulsion characteristic <gasps> of a jellyfish. I mean, that is Layla, a jelly. are you okay with the lasers off? Uh, lasers off? Oh, that's yeah. pretty. Ooh, look at that show for us. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is awesome. I've never seen one with this many arms. Well, I mean, it's only three, they're not but still. arms. They must be modified tentacles. Wow. But what? Why? It's weird three-way symmetry. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then something else. Oh, incredible. Oh, a sea cucumber. What? This thing's incredible. Slurp it. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Steve Get said, it. Steve said collect. Did Steve say to? He did. Oh, he, he said, he is he it possible to slurp? Might be need to preserve by ID. Yeah, I mean, we can certainly try. We. Uh, yeah, this is odd. Incredible. I have no idea what it is. Um, what do we think? You want to try, Mike? <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to start. I don't think so either. I can either, try. What, have we, we never seen it before? Take some good <laughs> we footage we first. Start it off. Yeah. Is wow! Look at that. It was really cool when it flipped to the side. You could see the the red, the, yeah. the mouth Underbody. part. This is what I was really hoping for to see. Jellyfish well, are my favorite sea creatures. Really? This is awesome. Yeah, so Steve said oh. a helmet jelly with less tentacles. That looks pretty it. But also the way the tentacles are protruding from the top, that is so cool. Yeah, and like angled towards each other. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Wow. Now I'm set. <laughs> I don't need a wheel shark anymore. I'm good. <laughs> That is so neat. Um, I don't know. Well, shark steel sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. we definitely should send. We should take good images of this and send it to Dougal Lindsay. Got to say, uh, well, we're getting pretty good imagery on the her cam. It'd be so cool if we could get it still. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, I put the still camera up instead of the pilot camera. See what I can do. I don't wanna there. yeah. The video is still great to have. Wow. Oh um make it a run for it. <laughs> you say it's a helmet jelly? Yes. No, we don't right, but, know but, what um, it is. But it looks most closely to a helmet jelly. Can That's our educated guess, but I'm not sure because this is really interesting. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Um, Lila, what should I do? Uh, oh. Just, um, enjoy. just take pictures. Uh, F stop. Uh, up. Uh. Uh, oh, uh, whoa! <gasps> Wait, that just like collapsed in on itself. Okay. Okay. Um, shutter speed down. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, wait. You can do that way. Smaller too. Yeah. Yep. Just go back and forth. Yep. Man. Very cool. Awesome. My gosh. Yep. This is it. It's so hard to leave something like this. I know. <laughs> and now we will just spend the rest of the dive chasing this. Well, we're almost at the end of our watch. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there's Brian. Brian, have you ever seen anything like this? Incredible, right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, right? 
That's such weird what? symmetry. Unless it like lost a force, I don't. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Underside yeah. shot. Awesome. I wonder what it would use those tentacles for. Ugh. Maybe like navigation, catching its prey. Yeah. All right. I think we should say goodbye. Yep. Thanks for All waiting. Right. Man, that is awesome. Can I get the pilot cam back there? Yes. Please. Nope. Can we get the ramen system turned back on? Ramen on. Uh, on now. That was awesome. Gosh, that was such so a pretty cool color. I'm like, stick around so long. I'm like in shock. <laughs> that was beautiful. Good morning. So we're coming close to the end of our watch, and we'll be transferring it over to our next watch. That'll be from four to eight. And in new SPL host, it will be Katie. Y'all you know, have great fun with her. Did you two turn the stream back on for uh, this guy? Not yet. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, this thing is, I, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, like, oh no, it's gone. But it's so cool. Like what? Now we're back to nothing. <laughs> it's okay. But it's okay. I feel so fulfilled. Yep, that was a good surprise. What was that? Oh. So for those of you who tuned into our watch, we thank you for staying with us. And we'll be transferring over to our next group. So for all of you around the world, thank you for tuning in. And good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Video watch change. Uh, Kind of in the middle of a watch change. So, um, yeah, I think that jelly was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't lie. Probably taking a nap? No. <laughs> it's that Balticna being oh my God. Um. Oh, my God. This espresso isn't working quick enough. <laughs> yeah.
Coralie's only been awake four minutes and is still dreaming of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think science is happy with this one. Right, um, Pablo gonna... and Kevin, did you guys um, laze a, uh, a sea urchin yet? Not a sea urchin, but we did uh, laze a fish and a crab. Okay, well, you want to go after the sea urchin that's right in front of us? Uh, what color is it? I think it's going to be kind of purplish. Not Love red. the purple, please. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Yes. Yes. Okay. We, 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 so, uh, for for those of you listening at uh, home, uh, one of the uh, measurement modes that uh, we have implemented here is okay. looking for pigments in uh, in in these animals or or biomass there. So, uh, whenever we find an exciting color, green, purple, blue, yellow, we always like to take a little laser peek on that. So, uh, let's see. And is that the proper terminology, lays a sea urchin? I think this will be something that you just coined for the first time. Oh, <laughs> go Brian. Oh, yeah. oh, we get to, we'll just lays a sea urchin. <laughs> so what other things have you all uh, measured so far with the Raman spectrometer? I know on previous dives you've done the rocks. And in the lab, I was fortunate enough to watch y'all guys lays into a uh, a rock sample that we brought up, but what about from this dive? The portrait. So this dive, we uh, beyond the crab and the and the and the dead fish that it was eating. Right. Uh, oh, we, that's so cool! Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting uh, data point. Uh, Is that all the way in? So so we've been looking at sand uh, as well sure. as you can see, uh, similar landscape as right now. We also found uh, a little bit of softer rock. Uh, some of the geologists here or scientists thought it was carbonate. Uh -huh. um, we disagree uh, respectfully, and <laughs> our data indicates that it's more silicate, like a oh, chalk. Yeah. So we got a sample anyway. So we'll we'll settle that bet uh, once it gets up to the surface, and you're here. gonna be like, the laser was right. And we'll see who's right. But you know, would be interesting um, again demonstration that you know we may settle this. Uh, Doubts, right? And we may we may really give first-hand information really quickly uh, that you know uh, illuminates some of the hypotheses yeah. that scientists may be having. So it's one thing that is exciting for us to to really be able to contrast our opinions and our data actually with uh, scientific uh, you know eye uh, here. So we'll see. Yeah. Pull it, uh, Magnum. Bring the elbow up a little bit and. Uh, the wrist pitch down. I do have a question for Coralie. So sorry, Coralie. I'm hoping that the espresso has started working a little bit, but we can delay until later. Um, yesterday we collected a rock that looked very oxidized, and I saw it come oh up in gosh, the lab. Yeah. It broke in half. And it was black on the inside. Uh, no, it looked like kind of brownish on the inside still. Oh. It looked the same on the outside as it did the entire rock, or. Throughout the inside as it did on the outside. There we so go. So Dan, if we can I set up to spectrometer that urchin. Did right. you get a chance to see it? I I know you were incredibly busy yesterday. I <laughs> I think that's an overstatement, but I, <laughs> I didn't have time to go look at the rock yet. Um, my rock. Uh, Your rock. The one rock that you were like, yes, we will collect this yeah. rock. Uh, sorry, I'm like trying to watch what's happening. I know, I want to see them laze this uh, sea urchin. I think we're getting close, huh? So when we start lazing this sea urchin, are you going to be like, oh my gosh, look at this cool thing, since you're seeing all the data come up live on your computer screen? Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> if you see me <laughs> screaming and yelling, yeah. OK. So so the first thing we've seen is it looks smaller now that we're on top of it than it may have looked from afar. Oh, and I can see y'all guys yeah. have a camera that's facing downwards. Yeah. yeah. And you can see it there in the, in the monitors uh, in front of you. So uh, I, th I think Dan is very very dextrous uh, pilot and he's in fact getting us almost on top of it almost. for a long time so, so yeah. we'll, keep, we'll keep shooting the laser here for a little bit lacing and, uh, <laughs> no, in, in, fact, in fact lacing to 
to lace is a verb, so it's not, uh, but, or, but I think what, what Brian and the team here coined today is like lacing a sea sponge. Uh, oh. I think that's the, that's the first, I believe. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I don't know if at home folks can see uh, our camera there, uh, but uh, we're a few centimeters away from hitting the sponge, almost there. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, so if y'all guys look at monitor or sat feed number three, uh, you can view it on the quad or just sat feed three on nautiluslive.org. Uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, so, so, so you can see from the top right of the image, it's coming a green laser oh. that is turning blue and purple as it goes into the into the sponge. And yeah, you'll see that. Yeah, Dan is getting us there. Um, Whoa. That's pretty, pretty well. This is going to be a great data point. And just for your records, Pablo, it's an urchin. Oh, an urchin. Okay, urchin. thanks. Uh. Are we going to collect this too? Or do you not need to collect it? So yeah, I think we're changing our focus. Yeah. They're really excited. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. That's so interesting. So for those at home, this is, uh, they are lasing using the Raman spectrometer. And this is a new piece of equipment. Normally you can only find Raman spectrometers in, in stable laboratory systems. So this is the first time it has been mounted to an ROV. Uh, you can look up more stuff. We're getting ready to review our highlights coming up s later on today, maybe tomorrow, about them or about um, impossible sensing, mounting this to the ROV Hercules and a little bit more of a background on on what this equipment can do. Come up uh, five meters. Yeah, so, so uh, you know, uh, uh, so we're seeing differences here when when Dan is able to to keep us there for a second or two, like right now, uh, we see a shift in our in our data here. And when I say data, for those home, you can see the data, but what you see, what we're seeing here is a line that goes from left to right, and it's like a roller coaster. So it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and every up that we see there uh, is telling us something about what the materials are made of. So when we're hitting sand, mm -hmm. we see a profile. When we see uh, the, uh, sorry, Brian, I'm going to butcher the word again. <laughs> uh, uh, when we see the organic feature there, uh, 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 we're seeing a little shift in that, which is indicative of a pigment. And in fact, the, 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 the light that we're seeing, uh, remember, we're looking at, uh, at light in different colors in the spectrum. Uh, is shifting towards the the violets and the mm -hmm. blues, which is uh, expected uh, as we see in fluorescence from this uh, from this uh, feature. So, uh, qualitatively, we can we can assess that yeah, there is this is a, this is a, a organic pigments, um, and yeah, we'll process the data then, and then we'll start getting the real quantitative numbers that can hopefully help scientists uh, do something with them. So, um, yes, the ocean we'll see here. And you said that the pigments, or what you're seeing, is showing that it's fluorescent? Yeah, yeah. And fluorescent means that uh, uh, as we lace, right, as we uh -huh. illuminate the orchard with, um, with green laser, uh, which is what you see in the, in the screen here, uh, some of that light is being absorbed by the orchard. Mm -hmm. And after a little bit of time of that light bouncing off inside and, and exciting molecules and, and electrons and whatnot, that light is going to get back to us, uh, but it's not going to be green anymore. That light is going to be uh, of different color. Uh, it could be anywhere from the ultraviolet uh, to the infrared, uh, everything in between. So we can see all of that. So what we're seeing here is that this is fluorescent, uh, and we're seeing it right now uh, in this new data point, is that it's really, really giving this fluorescent uh, signal in the color range that we expect for a pigment of this type, um, which is uh, uh, in the 
violet and blue uh, area. Um, so yeah, physics still works at <laughs> four in the morning here, <laughs> Hawaii time. <laughs> I love it. You Do heard you it here first. Physics <coughs> still works. Yeah. And I think Do you want to collect this for any <laughs> laboratory? Um, I think I will warn you oh. that the color shift generally when you bring these things up and they die is is pretty quick. So you'll get a different color reading if you get it up here. Uh, yeah. I think it will be worth picking up anyway, uh, okay. Brian, just to to verify the readings here. Yeah. Okay. Considering, yeah, I will take note of the of the of the of the death color shift. Uh, yeah. All right. Do you have what you need from the um, readings? Yes. All right, Dan, if we can land and collect it, please. All right. So Kevin Pablo's over here jumping for joy. Are you doing the same thing? You just seem so quiet and reserved. Just, yes, this is data. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am also internally jumping for joy, but it is, you know, four in the morning. We've been here <laughs> You've from been the up beginning for quite of the dive. Uh, all of our tempers are good. And we're, uh, yeah. So <laughs> internal jumping for joy. Internal jumping for joy, slightly sleeping. Not okay, so coffee. the 4 a.m. jumping for joy. What? Flat arm back. I'm sure what you're talking about. Oh, um, yeah, I'll pick up the arch and <coughs> unless you want it. They're hard to get without some carnage. I can try it if you want. Rubens from Spain, thank you so much for your incredibly kind, sweet message. We appreciate that, especially since it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Isn't that really sweet? Zoom in there, there. So as, as our pilot Dan was alluding to, these are brittle and sometimes a little difficult to collect. Full uh, zoom on the carnage here. <laughs> oh, little friend. Oh, little worm flew off, or not flew, swam. <laughs> Zoom out just a bit for us. And we've got the images we need back here, so if you want to go straight to the box with it, that's fine. What box are we going to? Oh, look, he's escaping. Whatever is easiest. Oh. <laughs> so sorry, little friend. I could move quite fast. Oh, wow, look at... What is that little mound in front of him, Brian? I am not sure. I don't, in shallow water, I'd say it was a sea squirt, but... I love sea squirts. I would just go straight to your forward box so it doesn't r escape on you. It both both are open. It looks like it's... Oh, no, sorry. Um, port's open. Push the uh, forward box open there. For looks us. like its legs are like black and white tipped at the bottom. Yep, it's, yeah. got, white little, it's got white little booties. Also float. Or is he gonna sink? Yay! Woohoo! Thank you, Dan. My pleasure. All right. Um, if we, why don't we just run out to tether link to the west? Um, once you're squared away, and then we can tether turn around the west. and head the other way with the next ship move. I don't think we're going to see anything, but since we're out here, let's check. It is 105.
27 meters, you're crazy. He can come right up, looks like. So we have a couple of questions online for the Raman Spectrometer team. Uh, one of them is, I'm trying to think of which one to do first. Um, how deeply does the laser penetrate the sample? Millimeters, centimeters? Could cut it right in half if it wants to. Uh, somewhere in the middle, millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, pro I think uh, it's probably in the order of maybe a tenth of a millimeter, which means it's a hundred, hundred micrometers, something like that. So very, very shallow. It's very shallow, it's skin, skin yeah. level, yeah. And then, which elements or molecules are best suited for the Raman spectrometer? Fantastic question. So, uh, I'm going to say that our Raman spectrometer works on the green laser, right? So, you can use different lasers, and different colors will uh, will optimize measurements for different molecules. Uh, the green is, uh, is a one-size-fits-all, meaning is the best color for exploration because it lets you see almost everything. It's not the best at anything, but it's good enough for everything. So uh, in our case, we, we we use green to look at all the mineralogy that we would expect in the seafloor, uh, anything from active venting, one, so sulfates, is. sulfides, um, silicates, down. depends on the venting, old volcanoes like here, which is all basaltic and, uh, and perhaps some other silicate materials, and sand. Uh, so not? we can see things like water. Obviously, we always see water, which is a good thing. We see sulfate dissolving in water. Uh, uh, quick zoom there. We've now. seen organic pigments, uh, and we've seen almost every mineral that, that exists down there. We can see with, uh, with this Raman spectrometer. So not only can you see rocks, sediment, okay, living biological stuff, Austin but also water? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Water and things that are dissolving in water. In fact, uh, one of the things that we are speculating that we can see uh, is the salt dissolved in the water. Uh, and, and we're seeing this uh, uh, in every dive as we uh, as we analyze the water column. So mm -hmm. slices of the water column as we're descending, uh, we're seeing how uh, our background and our background signals uh, change as we're going deep. Every time is the same 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 trend. Thank and we think that that's because the salt the, um, content um, uh, uh, increases as, uh, as depth, right uh, as a function of depth, because of higher pressure and lower temperature. Uh, yeah, so we think that we can indirectly see salt as well uh, in, the in the water. To be confirmed, uh, but yeah. uh, first indication is that yes. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, is, so is there? Oh, they're busy. Oh, is there? A well, you said that there's fluorescence, and then there's also the Raman spectrometer. Can, uh, Those are two different on instruments <sighs> on the dive bot. Uh, no, so it's the same instrument, uh, but we have the ability to um, to so open our camera at very different times. Uh, when I say different times, I'm talking about nanoseconds or That's smaller, uh, and Thank to you. give everybody an idea of what a nanosecond is. So uh, light takes about seven nanoseconds to travel one meter, right? So three feet, you it will take uh, the, uh, light uh, uh, seven nanoseconds to, to travel that. We can measure that. We can measure how fast travel.